At school, you just like look at the teacher, take notes. It's all very paper and boring. And here, it's all hands-on learning and experiments. And there's more discoveries, which is a big part of science that I enjoy. As you can see, the red wire and the blue wire connected to a battery connects to another battery, makes movement between it, which causes electricity, which causes the vibration. Here you learn about cells, you learn about the body, you learn about electricity, gravity, everything you wouldn't usually learn about in just one class. As you can see, this is the beating heart, obviously. You can change it into, those are blood cells, vessels, veins. I've always wanted to be working in a science lab about biology, circuitry, any type, honestly. I've always been interested in science. It became really clear in this area that there were no informal STEM opportunities for kids. It's one of the real opportunity gaps in this country, actually, for kids in rural communities. If these kids who are our docents lived in Tucson or Phoenix, their school might take them to the Children's Museum or to the Arizona Science Center. But to get from Bisbee to the Arizona Science Center with kids is a really hard trip, especially when we don't have a lot of money in the schools right now. No, turn. My name is Jude Bruno. Um, I'm 11 years old and I'm in sixth grade. I'm also a docent at the science lab in Old Bisbee. I started docenting the second day it opened. Yeah, there you go. That's it. My name is Angelo Sinus, and I'm 12 years old, and I'm a docent here at the Bisbee Science Lab. I'm Scout Day. I go to Bisbee High School, and I'm a freshman. It dawned on me and my colleagues that we needed some kind of environment where the kids could go and have really exciting informal experiences in Cochise County. Well, my friend was volunteering here and he took me to the grand opening and I just pretty much fell in love with everything. There was a 3D printer and I was watching this little bear being printed out and then I tried the VR and it was just so crazy that I decided I had to be a part of it. I really like the slime, so I help with the slime a lot. We mix glue, borax and water, and like glitter and food coloring, and then it turns out like this. I like to play with it. It's very relaxing to just squish it. My mom's a science teacher at NACO, and she's been teaching for about two years. She's the one who obviously started me into this business, and honestly, I don't think I can end it. There's a little something that I love. I want to be a computer engineer, and maybe even make some video games if I can. Um, but I've always loved circuitry. I've taken apart consoles, controllers, computers, see how they work and put them back together. My dad did teach me um, a lot about it. He was amazing. He was my love of my existence. He was just a great guy. He passed away last year, so I can't really see him anymore, but he still lives in my heart. There are kids that are here a half a day playing with the stuff that's on the tables and the slime and the VR. So I think we got, I think we were surprised by how interested the kids were in this space and in spending time here. We started the Science Fridays in this space. We didn't get a lot of kids because there's not a lot of kids in Old Bisbee. So we're now in the annex because there's a lot of kids in those neighborhoods. There's a lot of rural schools in the United States that don't have school on Friday. It was seen as a cost-cutting mechanism. These are all the pieces to design a chariot that will look something like this. We wanted to provide a weekly like science experience for kids on Fridays when there was no school. Right, 
right now the Arizona Science Center is doing two projects a month. So we're just trying to get the word out and build uh, build into people's understandings that on Friday afternoons there's hands-on science going on. Building that reputation and getting the word out has been more challenging for us than we thought it was going to be. You know, we thought if, if we build it, they will come, right? And we're going to turn this until the blue dot on the Spiro is facing us. Schools can't do this alone is the fact of the matter. Teachers need to be kind of retrained in how to do field work with students, how to do hands-on science with students. So the schools may not do it the way we'd all like it to be done, but the schools really face a lot of uphill battles. So we sort of feel like we're a partner with the schools, and we can do those things in the science lab that the teachers can't do in their classroom. Raise your hands in the air if you're ready. The ultimate goal is to have some kind of permanent science center lab in Bisbee. And what that ultimately looks like is something that we hope to hear from the community about. Usually people come here to think, oh, it's just science, more school, great. Have you ever seen us do VR or make slime in our school? I have not. It's just so much fun helping people and helping them understand science.